Hello, this is Janet16 and I'm here today to do another vlog. Um, it's been a while since my last one. I think it was like three months ago, nearly three months ago. Um, and I mean, there's been some things going on. I've been very busy um, doing gaming things with Codemaster, which really, really cool. Um, using my, this is my T4. T300 RS, I always get it wrong, T300 RS with the Ferrari F1 wheel. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work with that over the last couple, well it's not last week, I, I forget when it ended, um, it starts again soon I believe. So yeah I've had a good time doing that. Um, I'm building a new model railway, Cornell Street which is just there. Um, I got. A, I probably will do a layout update today because I got a lot of work done yesterday. One of the things I have been focusing on is this. Um, the layout features a viaduct that goes straight across into the fiddle yard from the station and a scene from Gloucester that I want to recreate. And I've done this. I don't know if camera picked that. Well, I will leave some photos in the end um, because I did a great job on these, I think, and I weathered them up. Still, a lot of work to do with them. Um, they're laser cut arches. Now, I've just had my second order come this morning, actually. Um, that's my job today. I'll be building them. And all I've done, they come like wood, so they're just white, a whitey yellow colour. I primer them with red, red car primer, so you get a red brick effect, and you can feel every brick on the arches so when you put in the I use weathering powders when you put the weathering powders on it sticks to everything um so yeah that's pretty much it with the model railway stuff I'm literally building this new layout Cornell Street and I'm really enjoying it. Going back to gaming for a second um I'm doing I've been accepted to do the beta for Call of Duty World War 2 and um, I will put a link in the description if you want to watch my gaming channel um I'm actually taking it to the next level later this year with E3 starting next week actually and um, so I will be doing some re, re things of that like going through over the news I watch E3 every year now every year since 2012 and I really enjoy it I'm literally going to Gloucester tomorrow to get my supplies because I sit here the gaming chair goes out this will be moved probably to the corner by the wardrobe over there um, and I'll get one of the nice comfy chairs out of the front room or the dining room in here. And I'll sit here for four or five days straight watching E3. Um, <laughs> I really enjoy it every year. I have all the snaps built up, everything. I'll have the computer set up here. The telly set up. The computer is plugged into the telly. I mean, I'll have an iPad set up. Be keeping everyone up to date on the Facebook True World Gamers page. So I'm going to be quite busy. The steering wheel will be moved for the week. Um, I won't be using the steering wheel for a week. Um, as long as Codemasters don't send the next uh, beta stuff over. So yeah. That is pretty cool. I really do like E3. Um, I usually watch it live from IGN. Just because I enjoy watching the IGN uh, cast who's on there talking about stuff. I think they are. they know what they're talking about. And I enjoy watching them. Um, so yeah, E3's, it starts Tuesday I believe, and the first conference is Ubisoft, which Far Cry 5 looked stunning, so really looking forward to that. Um, and like I said, I'll be taking part in the beta. Um, I'm hoping to do something with Far Cry 5, I'm not too sure yet. That's something I haven't heard too much about. Um, but yeah, World War 2... Call of Duty, it's about time they went back to the old days because I haven't played a Call of Duty game now since Black Ops 2 and I bought that purely to play online with my friend Jason to play online with the zombies, I've never even done the story so it's nice to see Call of Duty going back to the old days and also one thing that really excited me when they announced it there's no regenerating elf so you can't get shot, go and be on a wall for 10 seconds, let your elf build up and go back on the field and kill. No more. And that's that's good because that's why I remember playing Medal of Honor and that. And you didn't have regenerating elf back then. So 
that's going to be good. I will just make sure the camera's still recording. What it is, I've bought a new camera card. My new camera, I was using an old camera card, which I've got here actually, an old SanDisk, 16 gig, 4 speed or something. And it wasn't powerful enough to film in HD in the highest quality, which is why I bought the camera, so I could film great train videos and that. And I had to buy a card. The card cost me 30 quid. Um, for some reason, it, it wasn't on offer, but it was £5 cheaper than 32 gig, and I got 64 gig. So I could fit 8,000 pictures on the camera um, in the highest quality, which was really good. The camera's on a tripod right now. One of the things I've been telling everyone I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy for the last three years. And I finally got one. And it's a lifesaver. It means I can film more videos. Um, and I will buy another tripod like it. I'll probably buy the same one because this got three heights. And I want a smaller one. Um, but I do want a miniature one as well for filming. Um, but I will be filming a running video on Stoke Summit soon. Um, Stoke Summit took a gone to the back of their list at the moment just because I want to get the track work done on this new layout Cornell Street. Cornell Street is a modern image layout based modern day any day this year. Um, however saying that there will be times where I'll probably have some older diesels on that but they'll just be visitors I mean it's just gonna be a layout that people because it's got to be DCC never done DCC before and I'm on loads of out from derails and my friends with all that um, and yeah my friends a lot of their locals DCC so they can run on that but they got different eras and everything which is okay I mean it's just all about socializing and sharing my layout um, which is great I'm looking forward to doing that, get it up to a running standard where then some of my friends can come over, bring their DCC stock and run it on. Um, I'm actually starving, I haven't had any breakfast yet. Stomach's gone Um So that's that. Um, there's not much more to say with Cornell Street. It's based on the south where I live in the Foster Dean. Um, I'm not Welsh. Everyone, when they say, oh, where do you live in Lake Fastine? They go, oh, is that Wales? I'm like, no, no, it's not Wales. It's not Wales. <laughs> um, I live on the edge of Wales, but the southwest. And I want Cornell Street to be based on the trains that I see every day or whenever I go to Gloucester. So we got the Eureva 150s, 158s. Um, you don't see them too much over this way anymore, the 143s over Gloucester way, the Pacers. But I went to Cardiff a couple of weeks ago now to the Lego store with my sister and brother-in-law. And I saw them there and I got back, ordered one straight away from uh, Rail Track. Uh, Rail Track, sorry. In fact, I got a box here somewhere. And yeah, some of that. So, yeah, that's what I want to do with that layout. Um, as for the other layouts, uh, the old gauge is going to a show in September. I got to check the dates of that actually. It's 23rd and 24th. Just got to confirm it and um, messing with Formula One. I don't think it is. I think we worked a lot though, it wouldn't affect Formula One. Um, so that'd be good. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so that would be. Yeah, that's September. There's no other shows planned for this year, just the Lydney one September. Um, I will get work on that in the summer once we get nice weather outside again because to be honest it's been quite bad and I haven't run that layout now since the Coford show um, so I want to get a lot of work done on that. Uh, one of the points failed at the show literally first five minutes of running the layout and it, the spring come out and I couldn't find the spring. So I will, well I don't really matter, once I've put that point motor on, it shouldn't matter. So that's that. Um, Red Rock, I keep saying about it, it's been put back again because of this new layout. But I, I will be doing Red Rock soon. Um, wow, well, well, first of all, let's go into CDs. Um, I haven't bought many CDs lately. I can't remember what I did buy. Um, I don't think I've got any more here. I can't see any. I will just double check. I don't think I have. I, I probably bought one or two, but nothing serious. But I did buy the Dio collection. 
always liked Dio's music and I don't know why it's took me as long to buy a CD but this was like 1p on Amazon 125 postage or 126 postage so you're paying £2.27 uh, sorry £1.27 for a CD can't go wrong and some great songs on that some live as well live songs and I've listened to the CD about five times now and it's really good the Dio collection Ronnie James Dio, he died back in, I'm not sure if it's 2012 or 2013, might be before then actually, but I want to get one of the CDs. Um, that's pretty much it for CDs. I have made some copy CDs, just what I do, go on the computer, um, I buy blank CDs and I got like 4,000 songs on my computer, metal, country, a little bit of pop, Taylor Swift, and there's not really many pop bands I like, Taylor Swift pop that's country at first and then it went to i class her early stuff as country i really do because it, it's like modern country music and i like it um not as good as the newer stuff but i don't mind the newer stuff so what i do i have all these songs on that i put a blank cd in i make my own playlist and i burn that to a cd just random songs and i've done it and done it over and over and i got some like 12 cds here a couple down here of just random songs and it's great for when I'm on PlayStation or running trains I can just put the CD in got random music and it's like putting it on shuffle on the computer however sometimes I just turn the computer on and put it on shuffle anyway it goes through 4,000 songs and it takes a couple of days to go through that but you get the idea um, I've also sorted out my Xbox controller for the PC okay now I don't pause it. that no I didn't pause it the camera paused it I don't know why the camera stopped recording when I was talking about the Xbox controller that's why the computer's on I had to check if the uh, where I got it to because I didn't know the camera had stopped with my old camera it, there was a light on the front well, my brother's camera and it used to tell you if it stopped recording but anyway the Xbox controller is linked up with train sim on the computer um, so I can drive the trains now. I've made Cornell Street and I just drive trains on that. Um, steam engine's a little bit difficult to drive with it. I find it's, it's harder. Diesels aren't too bad. I don't know why it might just be me, but that's good. It's good I got that sorted out. And I can also use that with other games now. Um, I mean, i got loads on that, but I usually use the wheel because most of them are simulators. And I mean, I can swap the wheel around. That's my F1 wheel. And then i got the... Uh, GT wheel as well. I'm gonna have a third wheel, which is the Ferrari GT wheel, uh, which would be good because Project Cars 2 is coming out and there's Ferraris on that. So that's that. Um, well, I was just there to talk about. Well, I did buy some DVDs. I can't remember what I bought since I've done the last blog, but I did buy this. It's the Fraser box set. Now, I like really like my American sitcoms, um, and this one. Which needs the box needs to clean. Um, I picked it up off eBay for like twenty pound, brand new from the shop, cheapest one around. I had already bought the first three series. They was on Amazon, really cheap, like the CD was. Um, I picked them up for I'll watch it, watch first series. I'd already saw some episodes on telly now and then, and I got straight into it. Went online, bought the box set, and I'm currently on series ten. And there's series, it goes up to eleven. But no, it's really good. There's so many CDs in here. One of the things I want to do on True World Gamers is start reviewing box sets like this. Um, also, I I like watching Two and a Half Men and Family Guy, other American shows. Um, I watch The Big Bang Theory. Who doesn't? I really love that. Mike and Molly, I don't mind. I got the first two series of that. I want to get the other three. Um, I just look over my DVD rack. Uh, there's a few on there, but I don't like Friends. I've never liked watching Friends. <laughs> Not my kind of thing. Um, new trains. I now I have got a new class seventy and a new class sixty-seven. This is a class forty-seven, and I've reviewed this one. The review will be going up today. This is not mine. This is my brother's. We bought these off Matt, um, and my brother wanted this one, so he's kind of a. Uh, Swallow livery and City Swallow livery, that's his favourite, so he's bought that one. Um, I have got two trains coming, well, I've paid a deposit on them, a derails, and I just pay them off now. But Mars Beaver, which is 60026, 
I'll double check that, but I think that's Mars Beaver. And a GWR 57, which looks really nice. Um, that's basically it. There's not much more going on in my life. I'm still doing driving. I've had another pace baker check. Another three months uh, for next date for the checkup. So that's good. That means the pacemaker is going on longer than we expected. Um, really enjoy Formula One. Oh, not even going into it. I'll start ranting about stuff. But no, I'm really enjoying Formula One at the moment. Um, I'm going to do a review of Corner. Uh, sorry. Uh, a look at Cornell Street and update soon um, in a minute. One last thing, um, we had some sad news last, of course not last week, it's the week before now, two weeks ago. Uh, Chris Cornell passed away. Very, very sad news. Um, one of my favourite, all time favourite musicians. In fact, don't, you probably can't see it, it's not in camera shot, but the top row that I've got audio slave, Soundgarden's on the bottom here by um because it's all alphabetical like all my stuff's alphabetical all my cds are so i can find them easier so i know where metallica is i know where faith no more is i know where bon jovi and i is uh, megadeth and michael chromat so i got everything power more um nightwish slayer the lot so yeah i got a load of his cds um and it was sad news i will probably put a picture up in the end to just say goodbye but no, very sad. Um, I was shocked. I literally was shocked because I always follow his stuff on Twitter, social media, and that. And the Audio Slave album, which is this one, I can't. Can I get it? Yes. This is like top five of my all time favourite CDs. Um, really love the CD. I listened to his CD. I would say as much as Metallica. Um, so yeah, it was a shock to me. I didn't expect it at all. I don't think no one did. Um, it was really sad. It was really a shock. It took me by surprise. I saw it on the internet. I was like, oh, very fake. Because you get... Jack Black died a couple of months ago. <laughs> and he's still walking around. I thought it was fake. And no, I couldn't believe it. Um, so that's really sad. And... Um, I watched this few more online. Loads of stars that are shown their respects. Brad Pitt. Foo Fighters, of course, they were there. Uh, because Soundgarden started up everything in Seattle. And they say it's Nirvana, but from what I've read over the years, and it was Soundgarden. They opened the doors to people coming in and signing bands on and that, like Nirvana. Um, it was the other word. Not, oh, sorry, my mind's gone blank. Who's the other band they signed on? Pearl Jam. They signed on Pearl Jam and that, but I, from what I believe is true, that Soundgarden was the first band to start all that. But anyway, I'm going to go now. Um, I'm going to do an uh, update on my Cornell Street. Um, thanks for watching again. hope this hasn't gone on too long. Um, but there's a lot of stuff to get over. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with another blog. It'll probably be a couple of weeks down the line, a couple of months. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks to any new subscribers. I've noticed my subscriptions are going up nearly three or four a week, which is great. Um, I think that's the most it's ever been, actually. So yeah, I must be doing something right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.